पतिम सुरगुरु वंदे जगत कारणम वंदे पद्मकूषणम शशिधर वंदे पशूना पति वंदे सूर्य शिशाकनयन वंदे मुकुंद प्रिय वंदे वंदे भक्तजन आश्रय वरम वंदे शिव शंकर फ्रेंड्स योगस्थकर्माणि वी एस्टाब्लिश्ड इन योग अंड परफॉर्म ऑल द ड्यूटीज द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट ड्यूटी देयर फॉर ऑफ एवरीबडी इज to be established to be very very simple settle down first comfortably seated first be established sukha stira asana and then you do sri ramakrishna paramahamsa says children hold on to a tree with the left hand strongly and go wrong yogastah be firmly established in yoga be firmly established in the awareness consciousness god consciousness self realization and then you be a performer of all the duties how to rise to that stage how to be established in yoga how to be firm in that consciousness awareness self knowledge self realization god realization brahma sakshatkar these are the ways according to yoga to go to the top what are those ways even if we do not want the natural process is to unfold there are two things one is the individual the other is the cosmos universe world the external world that is macrocosm big large brahmanda this is microcosm small body individual what we find outside is found inside you have the five elements outside you have the five elements inside we have the three gunas outside we have the three qualities or traits or gunas inside if this is only a replica of the external world in a miniature size in a small format individual and the universe microcosm macrocosm pindanda brahmanda five pancha bhutas five elements here five elements there the three traits or qualities or characteristics or gunas here the three traits characteristics characteristics outside everything we have in a small size we have to raise from where to where should we raise to be a yogi from where to where should we grow or unfold or evolve or develop to be a yogi to be in consciousness to be established in awareness the lowest is inertia inert matter there is no sensitivity a stone it has energy it has potentiality it has divinity it has everything but it is not aware of itself the consciousness there is in a small degree in a stone in the rock in all the inanimate objects we find the consciousness 
very much aware of itself and that is called inertia. Not being aware of a myself. It has a life but it does not have the pain. Example, we have the nails. Nails have a life. If you cut the nail, it does not feel the pain. It is not aware of the pain. We have the hair. This hair has a life, it grows. If there is no life, it cannot grow. It has a life. But when you cut the hair, you are not aware of the pain. We don't feel the pain. It is insensitive. There is inertia. Same is the case with the nails. In the entire universe outside, there is the gross material like rock, stone, iron, steel, etc. They are all of inertia. They are not sensitive. They have no awareness of the pain or pleasure. That is called inert matter. From inertia to enlightenment we grow. From inertia or inert nature to intuition we grow. The small sensitivity perhaps negative. From there we go to the top total awareness. From one carat gold to 200 carat. To make the ornament, we require copper and we require gold. Gold is very much in small quantity in imitation. In rolled gold, 99.999% is copper. 0.001% is gold coat. But when we evolve, the copper quantity, copper ratio will be reducing, gold ratio will be improving, raising, growing, unfolding, evolving. Similarly, the consciousness level is very minute, very little, very small in the inert matter. But when you rise to the topmost, this inert matter becomes more and more glowing, 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 and it becomes 100% self-aware, 70% gold. That is the evolution. From inertia, we raise to the impulses. In the entire plant kingdom, there is life. There is a sensitivity also. There is a little self-awareness. It feels the pain. It feels the pleasure. Stone does not feel. From the rocky world, stone world, inner world, we raise to the plant kingdom wherein we have the pains, we have the feelings, we have the self-awareness, we feel the pleasures. Who discovered it? Jagadish Chandra Bose. The great scientist of Bengal, he was able to feel that the plant kingdom does have the feelings. And it is called impulse. The tree is aware that it is going to be cut by the woodcutter, but it cannot run away. It feels the pain. There are certain plants, leaves, the moment we try to touch, they shrink impulsively. We have come from the inner world, we have the hair and the nails. Impulses, we do have. Of the plant kingdom, we do have. We are in our rooms, bedrooms, sleeping. And at about 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the midnight, when I am fast asleep, my friend comes. He comes with a pin and he pricks in my foot. 
when I feel the prick of the pain or pain of the break, I withdraw my foot, I fold my leg, I take it out from the prick. Next morning my friend asks me, last night, 11.45, I came to you, I pricked your foot, did you feel the pain? I might have felt. Otherwise, how could I withdraw? I took my foot back. I must have felt the pain. Now I don't remember. This is consciousness increasing. I am able to feel the pain, but I don't remember. I feel the pressure, but I don't remember. I am sensitive, but I don't remember. This is consciousness working at a lower level. At the most inert level, it does not appear to function. It is not dead. It is a dormant at the inertia. At the impulsive level, it grows a little and it feels, but it does not remember. Subconscious, whatever you call it. Inert matter, then impulsive plant kingdom, where consciousness is much more widespread. From plant kingdom, we come to the animal kingdom, evolution. In the animal kingdom, we have birds, beasts, etc. All these birds and beasts are more aware of the consciousness, more than inertia, more than impulse. Now it is instinct. That awareness is instinctive. What do you mean by instinctive? When a female dog is going, the male dog runs behind it in America, in England, in Russia, in China, in any place. It is the basic trait, instinctive. The plant kingdom here, plant kingdom in America, it has the same impulses. The stone in India, the stone in Africa, same inner matter quality. Now consciousness increases in the animal kingdom. We all retain them. There is inertia in us. There is impulse in us. And there is instinct in us. Instinctively, when I see Rasgulla, when I see Gulab Jam, instinctively my mouth waters. Swami Turiyanamji was one of the disciples of Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. One Brahmachari went. He said, Sir, I would like to join your order and become a sannyasi. I am observing the continents. I am a Brahmachari. I would like to become a sannyasi. Please take me, accept me as your disciple. Swami Turiyanamji asked, I see, you want to become a disciple, come on. And then he asked him to show his tongue. Sir, he showed his tongue. He took a little sugar, placed it on the tongue. Simultaneously, he took sugar, another small quantity, and placed it on a piece of paper. The sugar on the piece of paper is as it is without getting melted, watered, it is dry. But on the mouth, tongue of the Brahmachari, it got melted. Your mouth is watering. This is inertia, no response. The paper does not respond to the sweetness of sugar. The tongue responds instinctively. All the animals have an instinctive nature. When somebody calls me an idiot, instinctively I look at him angry. When one dog looks at the other dog, instinctively it barks, it snarls. 
It shouts, it screams, they fight. It's instinctive. When a beautiful girl is walking in the veranda or a handsome man is walking, instinctively we look at him or her. Carefully observe me so that you can make a mimicry of what I do. Therefore, there is an instinct. Consciousness is a dormant in the inner world. Consciousness is 5% vibrant or 10% vibrant in the plant kingdom, but it cannot move. When you come to the animal kingdom, that consciousness is 50%, 60%. Now, we are having all the three in our body. There is inert matter like hair and the nail. There is the impulsive movement when I am sleeping like a rock, I withdraw the foot. Instinctively, I look at the opposite person. Instinctively, I get annoyed. And then, there is something in human kingdom. Now, don't be like an idiot in inert matter. Jadam, no. Don't be like a stone. Don't be like a paper. Evolve. Don't remain like a plant. When somebody is trying to cut you into pieces and revolt or run away, do something. Intellect tells. When instinctively you look at the opposite person or an angry person, you respond, no, wrong. This is Mangal Mandir. Prashant Kudir, you are looking at the opposite person, you are getting angry, no, tapu, don't do it. Who says intellect? So the inertia matter, the impulsive things and the instinctive things are being checked, controlled, modified, regulated, directed by the intellect. So all human beings are not the same. There is intellect in us. So fourth step is intellect. That intellect when it is put to use, you can raise to be intuitive. Dirkha drushti, divya drushti. You can see the past, present, the name, new future. You are fully evolved consciousness. They are yogis. They are not like animals. They are not like plants. They are not like stones. They are evolved, full grown, fully blossomed. And that is a divatram. That is a divyatram. That is awareness, consciousness. Self-realization, God-realization, atma sakshatka So what are the steps? Inertia, impulse, instinct, intellect. Use that intellect to go higher further, to be superhuman. Earlier we were subhuman. Now we are human. And when we use that intellect, we can become superhuman and to become the superhuman, divine, noble is yoga. Be established there, Krishna. He is a superhuman. He is fully evolved. He is Yogishwara. And therefore, even in sleep, he won't commit a mistake. His impulses are perfect. His instincts are correct. He has so regulated himself that all his actions will be noble. All his actions will be righteous. Yoga staha kuru karmani. Be a Krishna first. Be a Brahman first. Be a yogi first. What are the stages from energy to impulse to instinct to intellect? With the intellect, you get enlightenment. Using the intellect, you become intuitive. Is it possible? Very much possible. There are four words. Subhuman, human, superhuman, inhuman. 
ಇನ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಇಸ್ ರಾಕ್ಷಸ ಸೂಪರ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಇಸ್ ದೈವ ಸಬ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಆರ್ ವುಮನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಆರ್ ವುಮನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸಬ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನರ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಇಂಪಲ್ಸಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದೆಮ್ ಮಾಡಿಫೈ ದೆಮ್ ಇನ್ನೋಬಲ್ ದೆಮ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಫೈ ದೆಮ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ misuse your intellect abuse your intellect instead of going higher you become in the reverse direction go in the reverse direction be like a beast an animal dog be like a plant be like a tamasic prakriti man inert matter seeping 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 it's all that intellect can be used misused abused you can raise to become the super human personality you can revert to become an animal you can divert yourself to become an inhuman person example devaki devi is a lady her husband was the wise a man human person devaki and devaki's brother kamsa is inhuman devaki is a son of krishna is a super guru in the same family devaki is a small lady she has a brother rakshasa kamsa she has a husband human vasudeva she has a son krishna vasudeva divine man has the options to raise high to go down are to divert himself to the other inhuman species you can become a rakshasa by abusing the intellect we can behave like animals plants stones by not utilizing the intellect by properly utilizing the intellect grading it we can become superhuman so what is the purpose nature has given these steps in the process of evolution using the ladder using the staircase using the ashtanga yoga gradually one by one one by one one by one properly when we use it from lkg to ukg first second third tenth eleventh twelfth and then pg finally phd bsc dlit you can go to the top most all things are left to us nature is a cyclic evolution it will take us we may raise high we may fall a little we may raise high we may fall a little but ultimately everybody sri ramakrishna beautifully gives the example there is a vessel in that vessel you have one liter of water there is a flame beneath now the flame is becoming brighter and brighter first one bubble comes from the bottom of the vessel it turns and goes away first man to be benefited by mangal mandir lecture is common but one man catches the fire he gets evolved becomes divine when the fire is increasing another bubble comes to the surface and it goes each bubble is each drop each drop is each individual first bubble first drop first individual catches the fire raises disappears merges with the infinite akasha or divinity second bubble third bubble when the fire is increasing increasing experiences are increasing and then finally the entire vessel of all the water water is the different collection of drops all the drops is appear the process of evolution is such blessed are the people who catch the fire first blessed are the jeevas who catch the flame first and those who catch that flame will get moksha vidhya mukti self realization they go to the highest let us now try to respond to that 
flame of spiritual fire. There is the fire in us. That fire must be burning. The more we respond to that spiritual flame inside, the more there will be reformation, the more there will be evolution, the more there will be unfoldment, and it goes. Those flowers who are exposed to the sun will bloom first. Those buds which are in the darkness and shade will bloom later. Similarly, the entire world is full of jivas. Those jivas who are close to the fire or flame will unfold themselves, evolve, attain the highest, be yogis, and they perform the duties like Sri Lord Krishna. Yatra Yogishwara Krishna. Yogishwara is such people will perform all deeds righteously or become. Having come to Prashanti, let us look at that role model Sri Krishna Sasadhana and Siddhi. Let us try to establish ourselves in that total awareness or consciousness or self-realization or a state of some samadhi and then try to perform all the activities. Every yoga will be at our disposal. We will be always peaceful. We will be always cheerful, blissful. Let us meditate on that wonderful, smiling Sri Krishna.